Oh, so good. <laughs> On an Aston Martin, do the doors go up? Have you got your last in your face? That gives you in the goal. <laughs> What's up my people, welcome back, it's your boy H8 and I'm back with another video today. It's absolutely boiling in London right now. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. It's not actually that warm, but you know what the Brits are like, put a t-shirt on as soon as it gets above 10 degrees, because coming off the back of the beach from the east last week, you know, it is feeling pretty toasty, so I'm loving it. You know what, and I thought the roads are dry, it's pretty warm outside, what better day than to launch that bad boy, because I've been waiting for the right weather conditions, and since I've had it, they just haven't arrived, so, yeah, it's perfect conditions to launch the McLaren. So I'm going to go and find the quiet road later and we're going to launch that bad boy. It comes in stock at 3.4, not to 60. But I think today we're going to just, just be a little bit over that because I'm rocking the Pirelli Zero winter tyres and the road's still a little bit cold, so I'm not sure what sort of traction we're going to get. But there's only one way to find out. A couple other things I'm going to talk to you guys about. I've got some YouTube ideas, I want some feedback and there's a couple of, yeah, there's just some things I want to get through to you. But before we do that today, we're going to hop back to yesterday because I took the 540C up London and ragged it around the streets of the West End and it was crazy. There was the heads turning left, right and centre. And you know what the best thing was? The sound echoing off the buildings. You just can't replicate that anywhere around here. So we'll flick back to yesterday and then you'll catch up with me guys in a bit. Before we do, take the time now to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, put your post notifications on and hit the link to follow me on Instagram because I'm nearly at 10k and I want to hit 10k before June and I want to hit 50k subs before June on YouTube. That's enough talking, let's flick back to yesterday and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I wish and I hope this summer Ibiza's open because I'm on a plane straight out there and yeah, I don't want to come home. Two years we've lost, actually it's one year really, but yeah, I feel like we lost two years. One year of partying, no summer holidays, no nothing, so when Covid's over and we can get back out there, it's happening. Even just like going up to London today, normally go out for a bit of dinner, have a little party somewhere, a little dance somewhere, we can't even do that in a minute, so come on guys, we need to sort it out, we need to get back out, come on. Let's get the bars open, let's get the restaurants open, let's get it all open. So we can party, party, party around. Just pulled up in London, found a nice little parking space just off the side of Oxford Street. But you know what it's like in London? It's like £10 for an hour's parking. If you look next to me, yeah, you can see a naughty little Aston over there. What are you taking? The Aston or the McLaren? Thing I'd say. On an Aston Martin, do the doors go up? I don't think so. Under the night lights, it goes a little bit purple. You know, one thing I noticed today when I was cleaning it is the lights, there's actually this hexagonal design on the lights and I thought that was all one part of the lights, but it's actually not. The lights, just that thin strip on the edge. So obviously, it mimics the McLaren logo. And you have to buy that separately, so I'm sure if you had a crash on the rear end, the lights would be double as expensive as the front end. I had a policeman pull me over yesterday. I was in McDonald's car park, just eating some food and he bowls in there with his Nissan Qashqai undercover, pulls in, jumps out the car and says, let me see your ID, let me see your driver's license. I was like, whoa, so I gave it to him anyway. Turns out it was all fine, there was no problems, I'm insured and everything, so that's cool, but he said to me that he was doing a spot check in case that I didn't have insurance so that he could drive my car back to the station. I thought that was a little bit naughty, to be honest with you. Just before I head back in the whip and hop off, before I tell you a little crep check, you know what I'm saying? I've got the Blenciaga tracks on today, green and white, I'm gonna represent half ripped denim jeans and the Palm Angels tee which I actually caught from Selfridges about six months ago so I think it's dead stock now but anyway look at that juice that is the potion black lemonade So good. 
breakfast. It's the sound in the buildings as well. So we're back and yesterday I did actually clean her up and you see how clean it was in the videos but I'll show you guys now. another clean next week just before it goes up for sale but obviously before I need to put the need to get the aloe wheels refurbed obviously before I sell it but let's hop back in now go and find a quiet spot and uh, launch this bad boy boom so we're back in the car we're just trying to find that little quiet spot it's gonna be hard because it's bright and beautiful outside so everyone's gonna be out walking but yeah there's a couple things I just wanted to discuss with you guys a few potential projects <laughs> up the boys so there's a couple things I wanted to discuss. So number one being, I'm gonna start a rebuild series different from any other. And basically I'm gonna be rebuilding, well it's not gonna be rebuilding, I'm just gonna be modding the hell out of a Citroen Picasso. Cause when I was younger, no offense to any Citroen Picasso owners, please do not take offense to this, but I always thought that they were just an ugly car. So what I've decided to do is get a Citroen Picasso, an Xara Citroen Picasso, you know, like the 2003 onwards, up to I think the 07, I'm not, don't quote me on that because I'm not quite sure. And I'm gonna mod it, I'm gonna wrap it, I'm gonna change the wheels, I'm gonna straight pipe it, I might even change the seats. And I'm gonna show you guys and it's just gonna be jokes. So that's number one. Number two, I'm looking for another rebuild project. I am looking at maybe a Range Rover Sport or a Golf R. I know I've said it before, but I'm still looking, as you know with salvage, you can't just got like that and something appears you have to take your time and just wait for the right thing to come up so I am on in I am on or in I'm in the process of searching for something for that as well and I've got a couple of other collaborations potentially happening soon obviously I've got a collaboration coming up with Yanomize very soon which is gonna be good and then hopefully I'm gonna be renting an airstrip where me and Matt Armstrong are gonna be drag racing my cars and his cars because I think this 540c and his Lamborghini on paper will give a good race it'll be pretty similar so I'll be interested to see who wins out of that and yeah I'm just excited to see where we go but the Citroen Picasso is something I've wanted to do for so long and I'm so excited to do it because it's just gonna be jokes but that's enough talking for today and um, what you've all came here to see is me launching this McLaren so let's get it So at this point here guys, the police actually decided to turn up, pull me over and detain me for about half an hour and then they were racking me over the fact that they said I had no insurance, which I do. I proved to them and then they let me go. It was all a big, big load of nothing, really. It's quite annoying that people decide they just want to shut you down and, and not let you crack on. And there was most people that were so happy to see the, the car and see the recording. It always gets a good reception. But obviously, sometimes you get some people who just don't like it. So thanks, Karen. Thanks for that. Ruining the filming. But we got enough footage anyway. But I thought I'd let you know what happened because... We'll see the film and just stop there. Twice in two days, can you believe it? But what can you do? We move, eh? We move. But they're the things you deal with. I see loads of other YouTubers getting stopped and people who have nice cars getting stopped, so what can you do? But it's not, it weren't even like I was making a noise. There's people driving down with some mad exhausts on, even louder than this, making no noise. But I suppose when it's a pink McLaren, you can't really get away with it. You can't go, yeah, it was the other pink McLaren driving around because there, there wasn't one. So get this put back under the cover. 
get her cleaned up next weekend, ready for sale, and yeah, she'll be done. Looking pretty for one of you guys to buy. I'm gonna wrap this video up now. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.